Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Dark Light coming right back at you, beautiful people, with another video. And today I will be doing a movie review. Reviewing today, Fever Vivarium. In short terms, this is probably one of the most weirdest movies I've ever seen. I'm going to be very honest with you. I've seen so many psycho psychological thriller movies. It's just weird. This one takes the cake. It's an, it's an, this is an all oddball movie. It has its mysterious concepts, metaphors, and borderline creepiness. But it's pretty decent. Uh, but yes, this movie wasn't brought... I've seen the trailer. Uh, it was really brought to my attention by a lovely angel by the name of Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow, I uh, hope you're watching this. Because I need some answers. <laughs> or I need a conversation. Because this, this, this movie... If any of you like the Twilight Zones... Yeah, this is the Twilight Zone. Always stripped down to the level Z, basically. Because it takes everything from... Twilight style, Twilight esque, but um, but yeah, let's just get on to the movie. Well, let's get on into the review. Can't believe I messed it up. Ha! Huh. So I will give my rating out of five at the end of the video. Uh, like I said, I haven't done a movie review in a while, so bear with me. But yes, uh, this movie was directed by Larkin Finnegan. Never heard of. But I've did a little research. I've seen other movies he has done, and never seen those movies. I probably heard of them. Never even got around to watching them. Uh, so that's bad on my part because I wouldn't know his work. And that's kind of bad judging, uh, reviewing somebody's movie when you haven't seen their other work or what they're expect. But this movie does have, like I said, it does have a metaphor in it. So, y'all uh, bear with me on that. But then your two most famous actor is uh, I'm Imogen Poots, and I know I'm a but uh, I know I'm a butcher that. I have. Did any research on her to uh, see any kind of movies or name of movies that uh, she has played in or acted in? But in this movie, she's a pretty decent actor. I mean, actress. I need to get that right. She's a pretty decent actress. Uh, I love her. She can give you a good range of, uh, yeah, spookiness and strangeness and weirdness. So, I mean, because it's. The movie also felt like it had to go off the actors, the way the actors react, reacts and everything. Uh, it's also, uh, there's another actor in the name of Jesse Eisenberg. If y'all don't know him, he's pretty much your nerdy guy from Zombie, Zombie Land and Zombie Land 2 double, the double Tap. I should say it too, but Zombie Land Double Tap. And. I don't know. For some reason, he's just funny in anything he plays in. And like I said, it has its uh, funny moments. Because I guess they didn't want to make this too 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 weird or too grim or anything like that. But he he, he brought a little bit of uh, edginess to it, I guess. Grimness. A little funniness to it. In his, in his way. Uh... uh this movie is basically about a family looking for a home, basically. And they get caught up in the Twilight Zone. There's some weird situations going on. That's all I can give. It's pretty much not a spoiler. This is a non spoiler review, so. But yeah, so. But, uh, Viva, uh, Viva Varium is almost entirely based on metaphors and parable. Uh, an often used thing. They start that news, what it wants to say, but can't can't really put it there. Uh, this movie does start off kind of slow, then toward probably the 
second part, which middle area, it does kind of start picking up a little bit. Um, it, like I said, it's creeping. It, it has its own little great cinema, cinematography in it. Love the editing style in it for some reason. There really was no choppiness, no weird cuts. It actually did pretty decent of giving you an intriguing survival drama style. Um, but one thing about this movie, the end of it sucks. It really sucks. It really does. Um, I wouldn't know how to explain it. You just have to watch the... Well, no. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to be honest with you. Because if you're not into Twilight Zone or psychological thrillers, this movie is pretty much not going to be for you. Because I've seen so many reviews on it. Some of them talk down about... Uh, they do talk down about this movie. But it is... It's pretty decent in its own way. Because it has a, has a metaphor in it where it's pretty much uh, it uh, gives you that uh, the metaphor that is basically explained is rushed in familyhood, the challenges of parenthood, ownership, and other, ide other ideas that I can't bring off the top of my head. But it has those metaphors in it. Um, and it does a sci-fi way of, of putting these characters through a strange loop, a strange Twilight Zone time. Um, also, but I think it would go better if we knew, because there's something I just found out about the net, that word Viva Requiem. Very, it's place basically in Latin term in Latin words, is a place of life. So uh, it's kind of like people that have animals or lab rats, and it's pretty much exactly it, the name explained exactly what this movie was about. So it's. Like I said, this is a weird movie. I know a lot of people is not going to watch this at all. And those that probably will watch it will probably not like it. But like I said, I, it does keep you, this movie does keep you on the edge of your seat. Because you do end up tending to have a lot of questions. Mm, some of them get answered. And then, as you know, toward the end, it drops the ball. It really does. It completely drops it. But, um, yeah, so I, if I had to get my rating, it would probably be a 2.7 out of 5. Yeah, 2.7 out of 5. Because, like I said, I enjoyed it. I've seen some points in it. Uh, I've seen so much going on in it. Like I said, the cinematography is pretty decent. Editing was pretty decent. I'm not gonna say it was outrageously good, but it was good in good enough for me that it there were no choppiness or wrong er, areas of it that need to be cut out and it and you know it wasn't too much of that. Uh like I said, it was decent. But I understand sitting back watching this, how probably within the first 20 minutes of this movie, not a lot of pe people would probably be turning this off. Because it does give out its plot early. And I mean extremely early. Because there's some stuff in here. It puts it right there in your face, basically. What this whole movie is about. Um, and then there's some stuff these actors do in this movie. Where I'm like, why not just do what you're told and you would get probably leave because yeah it's like they're trapped in a whole new dimension and they they're given a decision to do something and they don't do it 
But like I said, it comes down with that metaphor of resting in familyhood and parenting. So, you know, responsive certain, because there are couples that have done, that have rushed situation. I think this is probably meant toward those people. That's why a lot of them probably don't watch it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I give this a 2.7 out of 5 and I will leave it at that. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's non-spoiler. I would do a spoiler review giving out this whole movie, but mm, probably going to leave it like it is. So, hope you enjoy. Hit that thumbs up if you did. New to the channel, y'all please subscribe. Become a part of the world games. So I'll do more movie reviews, but like I said, I'm trying to learn some things, trying to get better at it. Took me a long while to even start it, so yeah. Anyway, Dark Light, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.